Welcome back to more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. When we last left off, we met up with an old friend from the previous game, and he told us that he made a room specifically for us. We went down to this room, and it looks like it's just his bedroom, so I think he was lying to us. But we're going to uh, go into this room and explore it a little more. All right. Okay, I think we I think we actually checked everything already. I think we just need to rest at the bed. So let's do it. Wait, why did he? I don't know why his jetpacks randomly turned on. Why does he have a cactus? He's always had a green thumb. And now he talks to his plants. It's kind of weird. I'm just kidding. A lot of people talk to their plants. Maybe that's why I couldn't grow any. I went through a phase where I I, I got a greenhouse and I tried to grow a bunch of my own food and I couldn't get anything to grow properly. It was an, an absolute disaster. Still talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Is we he gonna talk about our mullet? <laughs> <laughs> Look, why'd you decide to go with a mullet, Cal? Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. You both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. Oh, God. What so does he want to talk about? The and then what? You're going to go find some trouble with Saw Gerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... I wonder what other hairstyles we can unlock. I wonder if there's like a really long hair or um, maybe a really long beard. That'd be pretty funny. Get him a braided beard. The walking way isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that got you, Cal? Look, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Freeze. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? His neck's kind of clipping through his uh, neck you thing. It's uh, goggles. Hand. It's a little it from cringy. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. I love the design we went with the droid. I think it looks pretty cool. This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Interesting. Whoa. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. He's not going to help? I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you. What is up with? It seems like lately every Disney project, every single one of them is. Why? Why aren't you settling down? You should settle down already. And you're like, go. Oh. Watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Great. Because it's not that it's not that weird of a. Um, it's not that weird for that to be a story beat, but to do it in every project you do, is a little lazy, to me at least. I think they did that in Bad Batch. They did that in Man the newest, if you can call it, a season of Mandalorian. And uh, now they're doing it in this. They're very creative. Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Where he's always kept a few secrets. Look, granted, it could just be a coincidence. They just happened to do a similar thing. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Not that I should, but I'm going to. All right, let's scan this. Let's look. Well, looks like we're going back in. 
Is this the obligatory sewer level? It might be. Ouch. Oh. Can I kill these things? I can't kill the thing? Damn it. So, I, I did look into these guys last time after I complained about how they looked, and they were technically invented in the previous game. I just don't like their design. I think they look really dumb. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. It looks like if someone was like, let's make a, a, a let's make like a Furby, but cuter that we could sell toys of. That that's what it looks like to me. Alright, can we scan this? Yes. That way's blocked. Come on. Oh, dang it. We just need to kneel down and have a Darth Maul Qui-Gon moment. Right, let's go through the crack. I love the design here. This looks really cool. This is some good level design. I love the you have the the light reflections off on the cave walls. It's a nice touch. Take this, you lizard. Crap, I've already forgotten the controls. Alright, let's scan the lizards. Gorger. Here we go. Do we actually get wet if we go in the water? We do. Nice. I like that. It's a good touch. Damn it. Alright, let's kneel before the rock. What are we getting this time? Hopefully it's more health. Skill point. I will take it. Hmm. Where are we going? Ah, oh, we got a wall running thing. Okay. Hello there. I wonder if, if you'll be able to get Force Lightning in this one. Probably not. But it would be cool. I loved using Force Lightning in the Force Unleashed game. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. Boing. Here we go. Glowing rocks. It can mean one thing. Dusty and abandoned. Would have been funny if that what we threw out, if it hit that pillar and everything just crashed came crashing down. This is quite the smuggling tunnel. He sure does hide a lot of stuff down here. More scraps, huh? Let's Let's check our map. Another person's junk and add more junk. All right, doesn't look like we're missing anything yet. Although there is something down there. <sighs> Crap. Okay, can we open this? It's That's locked. Not of course it's locked. What is this, Silent Hill? What is this? Portal core? Is that it? Looks pretty old. Of course. And down we go. Well, at least it can't get any worse, right? Never look when you can leap, eh? I should have finished looking up there before I went forward, but the sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, definitely uh, save after we check back here. Ooh, what's this? We'll go that way in a second. First, let's let's save. See if we can spend that skill point. Collapse passage. All right. So I have. Do you have two points? That might be enough to get something in our brainwashing abilities. 
confusion. Yeah, yeah. Let's um Let's get Why is this one why was that one red? Successfully confused resistant humanoid en enemies. Ooh. And what's the oh, top one? Mastery. What does mastery do? Most resistant. Okay, yeah, let's definitely get this. Alright, sweet. That should help. And let's save real quick. There we go. Alright, awesome. Ready to go. Now can we get up there? It doesn't look like Yeah, I don't think we're high enough. Alright. No choice but to move forward. Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. Oh no! Oh, I was hoping I could like glide, but that's not a thing. Boing. Boing. You know, I can't hear that boing without thinking of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, there's really only one Sonic game I played growing up, and I don't even know which one it was. I've tried to look it up in um to see which what it was called, and I can never find it. It was one that was on computer. It was 3D. It wasn't a, a side-scroller. It was fun. I just uh, I have no idea what it was. I think it was for like top-down, kind of. Maybe not fully top-down, but it was definitely third-person. And it was old. Old game on computer. Yeah, scan it. Disaster. These walls are very, um... I don't know what the word is for it. There's like a, a pearlescent, uh, rainbowish sh sheen to everything. Almost like an oil slick. Hmm. It's weird. Let's see if we can hit the lights. All right. Did I put this here? Not there bad. we go. Think we could walk on that? The bridge just manifested out of... What? I don't think I've seen anything like that in Star Wars before. That's kind of weird. What is this? Careful, BD. The High Republic. So, for those who are unaware of the High Republic, it's not... I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Disney... Um, created. They basically wanted to put a time frame between Knights of the Old Republic and Phantom Menace. So it's it's it's. I'm pretty sure none of it is based in anything Lucas created. If if I'm correct. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. Hmm. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Hmm. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Creed. You are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna? Oh, what a fine model. Oh, my! Use that to open hmm. the forest array. 
have no idea what's going on. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. You know what this feels like? The key to Tamalor is in this feels like it's straight out of Doctor Who. I feel it will be lost forever. <laughs> Just saying. A lot. May the force be with you. Yeah, this is if 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 Doctor Who created a Star Wars um, story. Yeah, I, I think it's just the, the the robot's voice and the the design of the robot that makes me feel that way. I think this droid has been here for hundreds of years. Name Z? Yes, it is. How do you know? Oh, no! I'm trapped. I have been trapped for. How long has it been? I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help. It's, it's funny how our robot looks older than this one. <laughs> like uh, in the in the design of it. All right, let's help this um, old robot. You know what would have been way cooler? Just saying. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like the design of this robot. I'm just going to be honest. It, it does not look very Star Wars-y at all. Um, it would have been really cool if we found HK-47. I know he technically was on Mustafar before this. But it would have been a lot cooler if we found H847 in here. Now granted, this robot has probably is very important to the story, so I'm saying this based on nothing. So as I play, I'll, I, I'll probably be proven wrong. But as of right now, it would have been a really cool moment to find like HK47 um, in here. I would have, it would immediately become my favorite game. Well, maybe not, but I would have been excited. HK47 is probably one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I think he's incredibly underrated. All right, so can we get this back? Yes. You are a Jedi. Not completely, Z. They're shot. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. <laughs> yeah, but we're not wearing a poncho. Hmm. All right, well. Let's head forward. The heck? Oh, we probably hook it in here. That's kind of a weird way to hold your door open. Oops, I, I thought I could jump while doing it. Apparently not. I don't like walking on this bridge. It's very... Uh, precarious oh we need two okay I got it there we go I'll have you free soon Z take your time I've only been pinned here for a while then you can wait longer when did you pass the trials never took them I was knighted in the field. Ooh, a box. It's a long story. Yeah, so far I find this robot kind of annoying. Jedi paint. Interesting. I like that light blue. That might look really good on the droid. Unless it's for the lightsaber. Either way. I, that looks pretty sweet. Alright, let's take this. And there we go. Trials or not, it's damage. Touch here. I want to thank you face to face. All right. Thank you, Cal. Don't mention it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've been delaying long enough. Oh. Not now. We'll be together. Uh, mind if I take a look? Z. 
just gonna weld her leg. Did you see that? The elbow is keeps clipping through the shoulder pad. It's her her right shoulder elbow keeps coming up through it. That's unfortunate. Figure way out of this place. So did did Greer not know that this was down here? Or did he want us to find it? Hmm. Ah, he just hit another rock in here. Can't say I do. You know, it, the thing that I don't like about the robot so far is that she feels like she's in the wrong universe. Like the way she talks and the way she's explaining everything and how like chipper and childlike it is, it just feels like it's from the wrong wrong game. But granted, it's from a different time in the Star Wars universe that never really existed till Disney, so they can kind of do whatever they want, I guess. So, in, unless, you know what, it is possible that there was something that happened during that time period under Lucas, but Disney just kind of overrided it. Um, I don't actually know. I'll, I may have to look into that. Alright, perk slots. You start with three available perk slots. Ooh, interesting. Equipping perks. We'll have to see what the heck that is. Could have been down here forever. All right, let's move out. That planet you mentioned. The doors open like the air vents in Alien. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo list. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. She must have had her reasons. Interesting. Who's gonna be waiting? What are they fighting over? A leg? Huh. Just a little domestic dispute between the Jawas. Well, I guess let's take take the droid to the bar. What? Alright. This is a bar, droid. This is where you will get your, your oil on. I'm not a Bedlam Raider spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Yeah, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal A friend found us. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal I keep calling him Greer, but his name is Grease. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Greer, Greer is a better name. This is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. I'm gonna made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. Did it just hit him? No, it just looked like it. Like you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credit? Credit? <laughs> Cal, you have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest way, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. Hmm. I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. 
Wait a minute. Did you just say Hannelore? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe the story proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth hmm. checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the mess before the raider snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Colonel, is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the man. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I let go of operating order, I will join you at the forest parade. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> thought up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use the back door, would you? Okay, interesting. Not sure how I feel about this so far. And I am curious, I wonder if... Because I heard, I, I do know some things about the Fallen Order. Apparently in Fallen Order, the developers got a lot of pushback from Disney on certain things they wanted to do. And I can't help but wonder if they wanted to include High Republic stuff or if Disney wanted them to include High Republic stuff. I'm just curious because, uh, I don't know. It kind of feels out of place at the moment. I feel like we were playing one game and then it completely shifted. But that may be the rest of the game. The, the whole game may shift. This may just be the tipping point of the game where it goes down an entire High Republic storyline. I guess we'll see. Doma's Shop. Let's check it out. Actually, you know what? Let's see what that blue was. Open the forest gate. Gonk, gonk. Well, coaster, the gonk coaster. Yeah, I definitely like that blue gonk droid. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see what this blue goes to. Let's see what we got here. All right, so first, let's see if it goes to the robot. Materials. It does not. So it's a lightsaber. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's change. Yeah, let's go to blue. Ooh. I mean, it's a little light for my taste. But what, what if we change the primary color? I mean, it's a little lame looking. I won't lie. Jedi lime. The white is kind of cool. I don't know. It's kind of a sharp blue. This looks like I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't look like a lightsaber anymore. Let's take the polish back down. I want no polish. And then let's change the primary to a darker color. Is this just wood? Yeah. I don't know. That's a really... I've never seen a lightsaber look like this. It's kind of interesting. But do I want to go with it? What if we do this and then we make it really old? I kind of like that, actually. It's kind of cool. You know what? I think we might go with this. Let's do that. It's kind of wonky, but I kind of like it. Easier than building my first one. <laughs> it looks really lame. But it kind of works with the blue, so we'll, we'll go with it for now. <laughs> I, I'm definitely going to change that back at some point. All right, let's move out. Hey, gonks. Have fun in here. Oh, uh, the frog guy's back. We're not going to talk to him. He doesn't seem like the brightest uh, tadpole in the pond. Examine the booth. He even covers his cantina couches with patoli weave fabric. Classic grease. Ha, huh, patoli weave fabric. I have I totally know what that is. All right, let's see. Wait, where is our shop? Maybe we have to go inside. Yeah. All right, let's see what she's selling. 
What are you? It just must be. It must be related to the other frog guy. All right, shop. See anything you like? Mass mysterious key code. This key code will will open the locked door in Doma's shop. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. What the heck? So we have one with a bandana. Oh god, a mohawk. Shaven. Windswept. This one is kind of cool. It's kind of Obi Wan like. Oh my god, we can do a handlebar. Won't find that anywhere else. Hmm. Music track. We don't need a music track. This looks like there's no lightsaber colors. I guess we should probably save for the whatever the key code is. I guess it's probably important. Although I kind of want to get the See this haircut. Like. I kind of like this one. We'll probably come back for that if we don't find the key card. All right, let's um search the shop. Maybe there's a hidden item in here. No. All right, let's leave. That doesn't look like there's anything. I'm happy you came here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much in here. All right. Well, where are we heading? I guess we gotta head here. All right. Am I heading? Wait, am I heading the right direction? Not really. How do the lightsabers look when he's holding them with the blue? Actually, you know what? It's not bad, but I do think the silver was better. Boing. Boing. All right. Looks like we're almost there. Ooh. Didn't it say we, we had a skill point of some kind? Skills perks. Block increased. I mean, I don't really need block, but I guess I'll equip it. It doesn't look like I have any other ones. Yeah. We only have block, so I guess we'll take it. Alright, this looks like this might be where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? Wait, what is this? Beacon. The Mantis. And what is this? Is this a waypoint? Player death. Oh, okay. Either way, I think we're heading the right way. I guess this works. Shimmy our way down. I honestly expected him to slide down, but I guess it's not one of those. We will keep our our palm skin intact. Why? What's wrong with the smell? Got a little bit of a western type music going. Boop. Got it. All right. Here we go. Am I supposed to go this way? I don't want to miss anything. Oh, no, there's something back here. But I guess they both go to the same direction. I think we're good. this what was that it's a freaking um tumbleweed what's this i agree what okay apparently we have living tumbleweeds now 
Bramlick. When approached, the spines cover. Um, they deter all threats and other spikers. Huh. Interesting. How do they get over here? I mean, if they just roll, I don't know how in the world they would have managed to get down in here, but... Maybe they have secret abilities. They can float. Ooh, what happened to this guy? He tried to make the jump. Alright, nothing over here. Crap! Oh, damn it. Wait, where am I? Oh, oh just over here. Well, I guess we're going forward. What is that? Droid, I'm over here. You know what? Let's check that other spot before we go forward. I wouldn't want to miss something important. Um. Yeah, this looks this looks like a good spot to go. Hello, you. What happened here? Oh, let me just catch my breath. Gotta be a way out. Uh, somewhere. Been here a while. Maybe they're one of the missing prospectors. Hmm. How could they get lost down here? It's not that... It's not like we've been down here for a while. They were pretty close to the surface. They were a lot closer than they realized. They just needed to go a little further. That's unfortunate. Creatures were killed by Alright. Wait, is there another one back here? Where are you? Maybe it's just waiting for me on the other side. All right, where are you, droid? I know you're over here. Frickin' bramble bushes. Tumbleweeds. What's in the box? Scrapyard legs. Those legs look kind of cool. Probably use those. Huh, lots of mushrooms in here. Shortcut. Just what kind of creature lives down here? Hmm. What's that, bud? Massive rib cage. Right. So something, something picked it clean. Now it's pretty big. Are we gonna fight another giant monster? Look at this rib cage. The Bedlam Raiders would pay for fossils? Oh no. Gotta be one of the missing prospectors, buddy. Doesn't sound good. All set, BD.
this looks like a boss fight area. Oh god, what are we gonna fight? It's gonna be a Rancor, isn't it? Yep. You know, Rancors sure do seem to get around lately. Okay, great. For a species that's supposed to be uh, native to Felucia. Oh god. And we're dead. Huh, well. I'm gonna have to think of a good way to fight this guy. Hmm. I guess I need to try to dodge his big attacks. It's gonna be hard. Hello, Rancor. Crap. Oh, he does a lot of damage. You know what? Let's switch to the... How did he reach me that far? What the heck? This is going to be a challenge. Okay, so if I jump his... Come closer. Do not use the force on it. That does not work. What? They pan the camera out of the way so you don't see it. If this was Dead Space, we would have seen it. It would have been, would have been absolutely horrendous. All right, let's try this again. What? How are you supposed to dodge that? This is definitely a Dark Souls boss. Damn it. Oh man, that sucks. This is gonna be a fun one. Change dif I don't need to change the difficulty. We're fine. What if I use this? Okay, I can pick up the bone. That's probably a good sign. You can't. Uh. I need help. Yeah, I tried blocking. Nothing happened. Well, this is fun. You know what? Let's try the bone. That bone seems to do something. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably a reference to Return of the Jedi, if I had to guess. instantly dead. BD just watches my body like, well, I guess my adventure ends here. And then BD just sits on the Rancor's shoulder for the rest of the of his life. Rancor has his own personal droid. <gasps> it worked. I mean, it just kind of stunned him for a second. What if I do the next one? Nothing. Damn it. Ah. 
I just I think this is one of those fights that I'm gonna have to take it really slow if I want to win, which is not normally my way of playing, but I can probably pull it off. We shall see. Okay. Let's see about blocking. Didn't help much. Okay, we're close. Okay, okay. What is this? I get it? Yes. Oh man, that was that was fun. Now I know what killed those prospectors. That was definitely fun. About this, right on his doorstep. Yeah, that was good. What let's see, what do they say about the Rancors? Rancors inhabit the dark places in the galaxy, often at the whim of the dark heart whim of the dark hearted. Not true. Um, towering, bloodthirsty beasts, rancors are generally best avoided, but if there's any to it. So, that is not true at all. Um, this is clear, this is a, a, I guess they're over, I guess they're kind of ignoring the original lore. Um, no, rancors are native to Felucia, and, um, I think another planet. So, um, saying they just live in dark places of the galaxy sounds like they're more like this demonic entity that lives in random dark places, which, it's not what used to be the case, but. I guess they're rewriting it, changing it. I don't know. Either that, or I completely misunderstand under, understand uh, Rancor lore, which I don't think is the case. All right, what are we getting? Shatter. Hmm. Shatter their will. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.